My lab here in the Gurdon Institute focuses on understanding how DNA damage occurs in our cells. DNA repair defects can give rise to immune deficiencies, loss of brain cells, and probably most notably of all, higher risk of getting cancer. We study specialized proteins, molecular policemen if you like, that survey our cells looking for DNA damage, and when it occurs, they repair that DNA damage. If we can understand in detail these DNA repair mechanisms, we'll be able to understand how our cells normally guard against these diseases, and we'll also identify how these diseases do arise from time to time. So my lab uses a, a wide range of techniques, such as CRISPR-Cas9 genome engineering. We're also using next generation DNA sequencing in many of our studies. Most of our work is actually on mammalian cells, largely human cells. Through working in collaborating labs, we found that certain DNA repair inhibitor drugs selectively kill cancer cells. One of these compounds, which is now being marketed by AstraZeneca, the large pharmaceutical company, a compound called Olaparib inhibits an enzyme called PARP. This has very strong toxic effects on certain cancer cells with mutations in genes called BRCA1 or BRCA2. The normal cells of the patient have a functioning BRCA1 or BRCA2, but this is lost in the cancer. What Olaparib and other PARP inhibitors do is inhibit DNA repair, generate DNA double-strand breaks, but these are repaired by the BRCA pathway in normal cells. Cancer cells don't have that pathway. The cell doesn't have a way to repair the double-strand breaks, and that kills the cancer cell. Patients with breast, ovarian, or other cancers with mutations in BRCA1 and BRCA2 are now being treated with PARP inhibitors, which in many cases are extending patients' lives without very much in the way of toxicities that you normally think about with cancer therapies. The main motivation for myself and members of my lab is to make a difference in the world of science. It's very heartening that over the last few years, our research has given rise to new opportunities for cancer therapy that is already being given to patients throughout the world. As with all science, you never know what's around the corner, but I'm very, very excited for what the next years will hopefully bring.